Welcome to Fit for Life with Karen. Today we're going to talk about ADLs. Have you heard of those acronyms before? Do you know what they stand for? We're not going to spend a ton of time on it, but I think you should know about it and it might make you more apt to start exercising if you haven't already done it. Um, it's activities of daily living. And as we age and we're trying to decide where we're going to go, if we're going into a retirement community or assisted living or um, a nursing home, and it all depends, it's determined by these activities of daily living, whether you can do them or not. So it's really important for those of you who don't know about it, I thought I should do it. So I'm going to do it quickly. Uh, to, there are six of them, approximately six of them. You need to be able to take care of yourself, your hygiene, your grooming, your dressing. You need to be able to do these things independently. Toileting, uh, transferring from one place to another, uh, ambulating, the same thing, meaning about the same thing, and eating, preparing your own foods, shopping like that. Um, again, that will determine where you're going to be placed, if, if anywhere. Some people just stay home and um, have home health care and things like that, which is a wonderful thing. Uh, but you, that's why you want to delay your time of disability. You want to remain independent. To me, that's the most important thing, and I really think it is for you. So uh, I thought it was important to mention this. Uh, you want to live longer, better. So we're going to start with a standing warm-up today. I hope you're ready, so let's come forward in our chairs, slide forward. Let's put the hands right here today. Push those hands right into your quadriceps and see if you can stand or do it without holding on at all. That would be nice, too. We're going to do a very simple, easy warm-up. I haven't even planned anything for you, so whatever comes to my brain, we're going to be doing. Let's start with our lunging today. Move your arms to here, here, good, back and forth. Now make a big circle. Let's get the back involved and the upper body and your arms, getting that blood moving in there, burning some calories. Did you ever think of that? Wow, now watch this. You're going to reach and then reach way over now, way over. My heel comes up when I do this. Uh, maybe I just like the way it looks, I don't know, but it comes up kind of naturally. So we're going to stretch across, across, in four, up, five, six, seven, and eight. Across again, reach, and reach, and reach. Now let's go down with the arm, and down. Easy, isn't it? There we go. Wonderful. And just march in place. What could be easier than doing this? I don't know. But we're still moving. We're lifting those legs up. We're using our arms, just like we did on the last show. Just anything to keep us moving. Now, another exercise that I feel is a great warm-up for the upper body, the torso. So we're going to lift the arms up and then bend the knees and bring the arms back. So it's up and bend your knees. The arms go up three. How many can you do? Should we do 10? Five. And if you could do more, that's OK. And seven. And eight. And we're also strengthening the quadriceps when we do this. Let's do another one up. So how did that feel? Hmm. Easy, I hope. I am going to stand here by the chair. And this is easy, but it's a nice stretch for the back of your upper leg, your hamstring area. Now, you don't want to be over here. You want to be nice and straight. So let's just do this. What could be easier? This would be dynamic stretching, wouldn't it? Because we're moving and stretching at the same time. So I suppose it could be slightly aerobic. And I like doing it. You can do it in a door jam. It's much easier than just holding on with one hand like this, but I think we can handle it. Great. Nice stretch for the back of the leg, the glutes too. So let's do a little kick here. Up, three, and four. I don't even know if we've done this one before. It's, and it's so simple. Six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Now we're going to do a static stretch, so we're not going to be really moving much. Second position in ballet, we all know about this. 
Uh, and this is a yoga move too. So let's just bring those arms up a little bit. A nice knee bend. Just place the hand. You have to have a wide stance here. Not This won't work. It has to be nice and wide. You can get behind your chair and hold on and you can still do part of this. You can do this part of it. Just bring that arm up and over. Make sure your weight isn't on the back of your foot, your heel, because you, you don't want to fall back ever. All right, slightly forward, not like this. The body comes forward in one piece. There we go. Lifting that arm up and over and hold it. Again, if you're behind the chair, a little nervous about this, hold on to the chair. Easy as pie, good. Now, if you can, bring the forearm back right here on the quadricep. That might be a little ambitious. So just relax for a few seconds. We'll do the other side. Just let the arm stay right there. Lift or hold on. Lift that arm up, up and over and reach for the corner. Take the forearm if you can do it and just rest it right here. Now your body is forward. Your torso is slightly forward. You can bring the arm back just a little bit. I think that's a great stretch. I love that. Let's do another easy one. Oh, that's effective. And if I've already done it, well, we'll just do it again. Up, up. Just look the leg up, three. We're strengthening and stretching at the same time. Strengthening quads, stretching the hams, the hamstrings. Up, do what you want with your arms, it's okay. Five, it's kind of fun to stretch really. It feels good. Um, I don't think most of them are very difficult. Up, you can use your arms if you want. When you add the arms, you get a better workout. It gets that heart rate up a little bit. Another way to warm up in the morning, especially if you have music on, is to just run in place. That's all. Lift your heels up or just lift your heels if you can't put that pressure on your abdomen. Lift your heels. Is this easy? So easy to do. I love it. A little dancing. Oh, you could be running a little bit. Or you can actually lift the feet off the ground. Or you can just march in place with great big movements. Good. All right. Uh, I hope you all have water with you. I'm going to move the chair back so I can see you better. We'll sit down, grab a sip. We are going to do strength training today with weights or dumbbells or whatever you want to call them. Um, some people call them free weights. We don't have machines here, so we're using the next best thing. Good. Don't forget your water during the day. We're going to strengthen the upper body right now. So we're going to take our weights. Good. Elbows into your body, okay? And just bring them up. How many seconds down? Four. And that sounds fast, but it's really not. Breathe out. Just so you're not holding your breath. You don't have to do that with every single movement unless you're apt to hold your breath all the way up and slowly down. And you're going to do at least eight of these, especially if you're just starting. If you want to do 10, that's okay. So we can go up pretty fast and then one, two, good. Try it again. Say this is five, even if it isn't. Slowly down, my feet are flat now. Again, up and slowly down. You're really doing something for yourself. Could be saving your life, you know. Keep that in mind. All right, let's try it again. All the way up and slowly down. All right, we'll say it's eight, even if it isn't. Um, if you want to challenge yourself, you can put both weights in one hand. Just make sure that elbow is into your body and then see if you can lift a little bit. And you will know if it's too much, right? Just try it. Now today I feel strong and it's much easier to do. We have good days and uh, not so good. The other side, elbow in. Now this is easier because this is my stronger arm. So we're strengthening what? What is this? Biceps. This is a bicep exercise, but you can feel that in your shoulder your upper back a little bit, and we'll try to do eight of those. But let's put both weights down just for a minute here. 
Pull the shoulders down, pull that chin in, feet are flat, good. Turn your weights over. Why don't we try this? Come forward a little bit. Place your forearms right on your quads, right on your thighs. Now your hand and forearm are on the same plane, right? So you're gonna, you can just make little curls here, little curls up. Don't let your hand come down like this. So if you want, you can bring the hands back a little. I find it easier if they extend beyond the knee. And this is for your hands now, in your wrist, and your forearms. Say four, five, and six, and seven. And we'll just do eight. You can also do that here with the forearms on the arms of the chair. Uh, make sure the hand extends beyond. Don't let the hands drop down like this. Wouldn't be great for your wrists. And now we're going to keep the forearms down and do this little curl. Now this, again, will strengthen your hands, your forearms. Three and four and five and six and seven. And you can do 16 if you want. It's fine. Take a little break. We'll put the weights right down here. Drop your chin down just to relax those upper back muscles and your neck. Head up, lift one shoulder, then the other. Good. Up. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. Five and six and seven. Now we're going to do a reverse curl. So you're going to place your forearms on the arms of the chair. Um, if your chair doesn't have arms, I suppose you could do it down here, but it might be a little, a little more difficult. So we do, uh, you're looking at the top of your hand now, not the bottom. So just do a reverse curl. Bring the hand up. You can see what I'm doing. Two, three, and four, and five. Now, once you have gained a little strength, you can start doing two sets. If you can do two sets right away, then just do it. So two sets, uh, two sets is better. Just now stand your weights right up here, just above your knee, holding onto the ends with your fingertips so you don't have your palm down on the round part of your weight. And only if you can do it, because it's not terribly comfortable, you're just lifting up. And if you have really heavy weights, you'll really feel that. So be careful on that. You'll know if it's too much. But it's also for your upper back and your shoulders. Up. Say four. And five. And six. And seven. And one more. And eight. Now, if you can, Put your weights in your lap or down on the floor. You want to do a little stretching after that one, okay? So you're going to push shoulders forward, lift them up, and then go back and down. Let's do just one. Forward, up, back, and down. The other one, forward, up, back, and down. Let's do a few of these. Now, if you do it continuously, you would call this what would you call this? A shoulder roll, I think. Let's forward, up, back, and down. OK, forward, up, back, and down. Now just take your hands, clasp them together at your neck. Get those elbows back. And let's just relax a little bit side to side. I kind of like this one. Oh, that feels good, yeah. And five and six. So you're going to be stronger when you finish. Yes, you are. All right, now watch. A little twist here. Oh, yeah. We like that one. I know you can feel this one. And you're tightening your abdomen a little when you do this. And uh, that's a good idea. We'll say five and six and seven and eight. What about biceps? These are triceps, these are biceps, right? Let's do this. Bring those weights up and to the back, and then bring them back up again. 
Do it again with me. Drop to the back. Don't hit your head. Slowly up. And back. And up. And back. So this is for the triceps. And up. I can feel it in the upper back. Can you? All right. Let's do a couple more. And we'll do one more just for the heck of it. Uh, I did a couple of extra things, so their time is going fast, unfortunately. All right, now let's relax for one minute. Just cross those arms, grab your shoulders, and pull yourself forward. And that'll be a good stretch for us, too. And then we'll come back up. Good. Uh, we're going to do some flies, which is for the upper back and the shoulders and the arms, too. Weights together. Breathe out as you open and slowly back. Again, you're tightening that abdomen. Breathing out as you open. And one, two, three, four. Again, open. One, two, three, four. Open again. Slowly back. How many is this? Five, six. And slowly back. You're doing a lot for yourself. This is great. This is towards staying stronger, having the strength to do for yourself, do what you want to do, to be included. There's lots of things we need to do, we can do, but you need strength to do it. Open up. It doesn't get better as we get older unless we do something about it, right? Yes. Weights down. We're going to do one more, but we're going to rest for just a minute. We'll drop that chin right down again. Oh boy, I can feel that stretch in the upper back. Bring your head, look up the ceiling. Looking straight ahead, we'll do a little bit of a turn here. And then to the other side. We have to work on the lower body a little bit today too, don't we? We'll come back and just do an eardrop. Wonderful. And then to the other side. All right, now I'm going to put the weights down. Grab some water again, if you feel like it. And we're going to do our sit-stand, which I feel is one of the best exercises to strengthen your quadriceps for better balance, which is also important. You don't want to do all this working out and strengthening and taking care of yourself and take a fall. You don't want that. So come forward again in your chair, as I said. You can clasp your hands together and stand up nice and straight. And we'll sit back down again. Normally, we do eight of these, ten of these. We're just going to do a few, OK? I'll begin, because I'm going to show you a different way to do it also. So your arms are out right in front of you. And then again. Now, if you're just starting out, I will show you how to do this. And then up again. Good. All right. Let's relax for one minute. Open your feet. Drop forward. Keep your head up. You can grab your ankles if you want. Try to flatten that back out a little bit. And then we'll come back up slowly. Now, if you've never tried this before, or if you feel that you're just too weak to stand up this way, you're going to put one hand on either side and push in. And you should be able to get up. And again, have someone with you when you do it, or something in front of you that you can grab. You don't want to fall. And don't take a step forward because the chair won't be there when you go back. So, all right, now we're going to sit back down again. OK, now, leg out straight. This is an easy way to strengthen your leg. Let's flex that foot back. And we're going to bounce. One and two. You can feel it here. Can you feel it here? Yes, you can. We'll say six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do 12. 12 and put the leg down the other side, straight out, flex the foot and bounce it. One, feel it here and here, good. You want to be evenly strong if possible, right? Say five, six, seven, eight, and nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now take some water if you need it. We're going to take a weight and do the same thing. And you can put it right here, whatever's 
the most comfortable for you. Leg out, just like we did before, flexing the foot and bounce it with the weight. One. If it still doesn't feel like you're doing anything, put both weights on there. But you know what you can handle. And if you don't, if something, you'll know if it's too much. Good. So let's say 10, 11, and 12. And try the other side. And of course, one side is always going to be stronger or weaker, right? Leg out straight. Flex that foot. We'll rest for a few seconds. And then we'll bounce one. It does work. I mean, it isn't fancy equipment, but it works. Five and six, seven. I'm going to move it up. Great. Just a few more. All right. Now, I'm going to give you something similar that I think might even be easier, actually. You can do this with or without weights. Let's take a breath together. Just let's do our yoga breathing up, up through the nose and holding, and exhale out through the mouth. Drop that chin right down. Oh boy, that feels good. Don't go to sleep when you're down there. We have things to do. Bring your head back up. And we're going to just lift the leg up this way, which I think is easier. What do you think? Three and four. But you're still getting that fitness, that strength in your quadriceps, tightening the abdomen. Good. And your lower back, too. Up. And five. And six. And seven. Let's do ten. And eight. And nine. And ten. All right, uh, we are going to put the weights down. We have just a few minutes left. I don't know where the time goes. It's because we're having so much fun. Uh, grab, grab some water. And for those that aren't drinking right now, just bring those arms up and we'll come forward. Can you touch the floor yet? Anyone? Can you touch the floor or the top of your shoe or your shin? or your knees, whatever you can do. Pull those shoulders right down and pull the chin in. Um, a little bit of posture here. But you want to keep that upper body strong. You need to you need to have a strong upper body to avoid falls, believe it or not. Uh, it holds you in place. It holds your body up. You can't be walking around like this all the time. You're very apt to fall and it's just not comfortable. All right, we're going to Get up without holding on, if possible, all right? Um, and what we're going to do, I'm going to turn the chair, as I always do. Uh, you can just get behind your chairs. We're going to do, um, what we're going to do is a little stretch first. So let's walk back. We're going to stretch our back, our table back. We all know how to do this. Your arms are straight. You can keep your head up if you have to. Good. And then we're going to walk back up, put one foot forward, lift that arm up, push those hips forward a little bit to protect your back, your lower back especially, good. And normally you would hold all of these longer. Let's put the other foot at the back now. Now same arm and leg, we're going to lift that arm up, push those hips forward a bit, good. And then back. Now, to strengthen the lower leg and your ankle and your foot, and this probably is the easiest thing we do, right? You're just going to lift your heels up, one. And two, why don't you let go with one hand, see if you can balance there. So you should be able to pick up those heels pretty quick. Um, if you're back here, you can't do that, they won't go up. So let's make sure our weight is over the front part of the foot. So we're going to lift those heels up, one and two, good, three, I can almost see you, four, I can imagine, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Now let's stretch that calf muscle out. So we're going to bend our knees. I think most of you could stay here and keep your balance, right, without holding on, or just one hand maybe. So this is a good one. 
while you're down here, lift your heels up, one. You're going to feel this one a little bit more, too. And it's a really good strengthener for the foot, for all of the leg, actually. And we'll say five and six and seven, good, and eight. All right, now why don't we just, uh, just do this? Just kicking to the back, we'll stretch the quads a little bit. And four and five and six and seven and eight. And now I'm going to let you sit down and do nothing. Okay, good. We are almost done. I can't believe it. The time goes so darn fast. We're having such a good time. Okay. Um, sometimes I try to sit down without holding on, but it looks a little ungainly, but you could try it if no one's looking. So let's just relax now. Slide forward. <sighs> let's take a deep breath together, breathing up through the nose all the way up. Holding that breath for two seconds and exhaling through your mouth. Let that chin drop right down. Oh yeah, that feels so good. We're relaxing. We're releasing those muscles, just letting go. Move your head from side to side. I find that that is very relaxing. It seems like we're doing yoga, doesn't it? Well, we're going to do that next time, I think. Good. So what I would like you to do is strength training twice a week. Remember, with one or two days in between muscle groups, okay? Keep that in mind. Take a walk, run in place, dance in front of the television. Uh, if you're seated and you're watching that great Netflix movie, just do these. I mean, what could be easier? And I know you don't feel like it, but it's up to you. So take my advice sometimes. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.